Sully's Boxing Gym in Toronto. Yeah. For the last 26 years, former Canadian heavyweight champion Tony Morrison yeah. has been training fighters here. What's boxing to you? Oh, the excitement, the fighting, the fun, traveling, beating people up in the ring, man. See, that's the only sport you can beat somebody up and, and get it every day. One, turn. Morrison fought professionally for eight years. He knocked out the legendary Leon Spinks in a match that lasted less than a minute. There you go. It, it, it is a brutal sport. You don't go in the ring to kill people, but at the same time, that guy's trying to kill you. As a professional boxer, that's your money. Does boxing need to change to get safer, you think? I don't know if you can change boxing. There's, there's so much money in the market right now, right? Maybe one change they can do is redu reduce the rounds for, for, for the pro fighters to 10 rounds. Go. Go. The other thing Morrison stresses about safety is that boxers have to be in top shape. That's why Joey Mark Cousinus comes to Sully's. Would you change it? For the safety of people, yes. But at the same time, as a boxer, you know what you're getting into. You know the outcomes. I mean, main thing is to protect yourself and try to get out of the way, but it is part of the sport getting knocked out. While Marquezinus admits that she's not sure she's ready to fight, 18-year-old Ray Tuzzi can't wait. Would okay. you want to change it? Okay, so say you say, okay, let's make the gloves more padded, wear more headgear. No matter what you do, at the end of the day, you're still, it's punching another human being to the head. It's, it's never going to be safe. Ray Tuzzi's excitement to start his boxing career makes me wonder when it's over, if all the punches and knockouts will be worth it. Push, 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 push. If you could do it all over again, would you box? No. Hell no. I would not put up gloves on. I watch baseball players and I'm saying to myself, if you condition yourself when you train hard, make big money, why, why, why box? Well, who's punching in your face? No one's punching you. No one's not punching in your face. Nick Purden, CBC News, Toronto. So all of this has resulted in renewed calls to ban boxing outright, especially from those in the medical community who for decades have said that it's just too dangerous. And some countries have banned professional boxing only to reallow it later with strict guidelines. Norway's 1982 ban was overturned just four years ago under the condition fighters get more thorough medical checkups. Sweden banned pro boxing in 1970 but reallowed it in 2007, provided fights be only four rounds to reduce the risk of serious injury. So the Swedes have shorter fights. As you heard in Nick's story, some trainers think that's a pretty good idea. And so does one of the ring doctors at that Stevenson fight. For a championship uh, matchup, we, we went from 15 to 12. What about going down to 10? If the doctor in charge it could stop, stop the fight, usually it has to go through the referee before. But I wonder if it's possible for the, the doctor to call an end to a fight if he's, he's, he assesses that uh, one guy is in trouble, uh, so to speak. And Dr. Doré has seen the dangers of the sport. Last year, he was the ring doctor at the bout of Canadian boxer David Widom, who later died of injuries sustained in the fight.